This is a GCSE video on kinetic and gravitational potential energy. If you enjoy this video, don't forget to visit my website for some practice exam questions and subscribe to this channel. We talked about in the last lesson that energy cannot be created or destroyed, but it can be transferred from one type of energy to another. Now, one of the types of energy that we see almost all the, all the time is kinetic energy. It's moving. Things, anything that is moving has kinetic energy. And so we can have a formula for kinetic energy. I'm going to put Ke here. Sometimes it's Ek, and sometimes the... K is small and the E is big or the other way around. But anyway, it's kinetic energy. Kinetic energy is a half times mass times velocity squared. Now remember that formula. That's a very important one. And we're going to use it a lot over the, uh, over the course of this video. And it's also one of the only formulas at GCSE where you don't just have something equals something times something. This one's a little bit different. So make sure that you remember that. So, for example, if we have a one kilogram object traveling at two meters per second, then that has one times two squared, which is four. So one times four is four. Halved is two. It has two joules of kinetic energy. Kinetic energy is things moving. The other sort of energy we're going to talk about is gravitational potential energy. Now, when things are high up, they have gravitational potential energy, and that gravitational potential energy, when we drop them, is converted into kinetic energy. That's the same for a ball rolling down a hill or anything that is higher up and it is changing its position vertically. So, if we have kinetic energy, the equation for gravitational potential energy is mass times gravity times height. Now at GCSE, we always use the number 10 for gravity. It's actually very slightly smaller than 10. It's about 9.8, but we use 10 usually at GCSE. And the other way of saying that is acceleration of free fall, um, and that's 10 on Earth. So, we've got gravity is 10, we've got the mass of something, and in our example before we said it was one kilogram, and we've got the height. We know that height is measured in meters, we know that mass is measured in kilograms, and we know that energy is measured in joules. Oh, and up here we've got velocity in meters per second. So now we've got two equations, and we've also got some good knowledge in that when something has gravitational potential energy and we let it go, it converts into kinetic energy. And we know that energy cannot be created or destroyed. It can only be converted. So all of the gravitational potential energy that this pen has at the top is converted into kinetic energy by the time it reaches the bottom of its fall. Now, we can use that to work out all sorts of different things. So, for example, if we have a ball and it's three metres above the ground and we know that its mass is two kilograms, then we can calculate how fast it's going to be going at the bottom. We can calculate the potential energy. We can calculate the kinetic energy and all sorts of useful things like that. So, I'm going to show you how to do that now. First of all, it's at the top, so we know it's got gravitational potential energy. And we know that's mass times gravity times height. The mass is 2 kilograms, gravity is 10, and the height is 3 meters. So gravitational potential energy is 2 times 10 times 3, which is 60 joules. So it's got 60 joules of gravitational potential energy. Then we drop it. All of that 60 joules is going to convert into kinetic energy. And we know that kinetic energy is half times mass times velocity squared. All of the, all of the potential energy is converting into kinetic energy. So by the time it gets to the bottom, it's going to have 60 joules of kinetic energy. 60 joules is a half times the mass times the velocity squared, which means that velocity squared is 60 divided by a half, which is the same as times 2, 
times the mass, which is 2. And that gives you the velocity squared. So the velocity squared is 60 times 2 times 2, which is 120, 240. So the velocity is the square root of 240. And that is 15.5 meters per second. So you can work out how fast something is going just by knowing its mass, its gravity, and its height. Now we can go one step further because actually, if you've noticed, we've got mass here, mass times gravity times height, and we've also got mass here. And if we're saying that gravitational potential energy and kinetic energy are equal to each other, then mgh equals half mv squared, where that's the potential energy at the top and that's the kinetic energy at the bottom. M is on both sides. Actually, we don't even need to know the mass. Now, the best thing to do with this energy stuff is to just practice lots and lots of exam questions because exam questions are almost always very much the same pattern and you just need to get used to doing them. So memorize these two equations, go to loveatphysics.com and find some exam questions on kinetic and gravitational potential energy and you will be absolutely fine in the exam.